Welcome to Dovetail Games Bassmaster Fishing 2022, the official video game of bass, where you can experience the exhilaration of competitive bass fishing. Cool. Now that you're in your boat, have a look around and get comfortable. This boat will soon feel like your second home. Hey, you look like a pro already behind the wheel of that boat. Nice work. Let's find a spot where the bass are going to be and start fishing. You can only get up on the deck and switch to fishing once your boat has slowed down and come to a stop. This spot looks good. This may be just the spot you've been looking for. When you're ready, let's make a cast. You see that thing dangling at the end of your line? That's called a lure, and it's a key bit of equipment to use to attract a fish. A lure can attract a fish at all times, but is far more effective when moving through the water during your retreat. There are a few different retrieval techniques, but for now, let's start with the basics and perform a consistent retreat. Do this by reeling in at a consistent rate. Retrieval movements mimic how prey and bait move through the water. Combine that with colors and materials of different lures, and you'll impact your chances of getting bites. You can also control how deep some lures move through the water by increasing or decreasing your reel speed. Don't get disheartened. You're not going to get a bite on every retrieve. So cast out and retrieve again. Remember, the longer your lure is in the water, the better chance you have of actually getting a bite. There we go. When a fish bites, you want to set the hook in the fish's mouth in order to give you the best chances of not losing that fish during the fight. Do this by performing a strike. A strike is performed by quickly pulling the rod up and away from the fish's location. But the timing of the strike is very important. Perform too early or too late and you're at risk of losing the fish. But mastering this timing is something you will improve over time with practice. Great, now it's time to fight the fish. Once the hook has been set in the fish's mouth, it's gonna do everything it can to get away from you. Your job is to make sure you bring it home. Initially, fish will dart, run, or thrash while trying to escape, which is gonna put more tension on your line and hook until the fish either breaks free or runs out of energy. But we can combat that by relieving the tension during the fight. 
The tension system can be controlled through rod movements, reeling, reel speed, and the drag system, of course, to increase or decrease the line tension as needed. Remember, you're also at risk of losing a fish if the line tension drops too low, which commonly happens once a fish becomes fatigued. So be observant of how the fish is behaving throughout the fight, as being able to recognize when and how you need to increase or decrease the pressure during the fish fight will have you catching more fish consistently. So as you reel the fish closer to the boat, it's time to land the fish. If the fish's energy has been fully depleted once it's within grabbing distance, you can automatically land the fish. Otherwise, you can attempt to grab the fish and land the fish early. Grabbing a fish is all about the timing. When initiating the grab action, a landing icon will appear to indicate the timing you need to match to successfully grab and land the fish. Successfully grabbing a fish is a great way to land a fish faster, which can save you valuable time in a tournament. But it's also very risky, as failing to grab a fish will spook that fish and cause the fight to continue, putting you at risk of losing the fish. Nice catch. You'll be awarded points and experience for any fish you catch. But this little bank runner isn't even the species we came here to target. So let's release it and get back to fishing. Let's try a different equipment setup and see if we have better luck targeting bass. Your boat is equipped with multiple rods and reels. So you can have many different rods set up and ready to fish at a moment's notice. Open your inventory and let's see the rods we have in this boat. Different boats can hold different amounts of rods. The inventory screen shows all rod setups that are stored in this boat. You can see a list of all the rods, and when one particular rod is highlighted, it shows you the full breakdown of its setup. You can select and change any part of the rod setup using equipment you already own, or you can purchase new items and equip them. It's a great idea to have multiple different rod setups ready and waiting for use. That way you can quickly get your lure back in the water and change your tactics in a split second. For now, I have already set up another rod for you. Select the second rod and let's try again. Darn it. Okay, don't panic. Getting snagged is just part of the fun of fishing, especially when you're targeting those lunkers hiding in the cover. As you can see and feel through your rod movements, your lure has got stuck. And we want to make sure it's free so we can get back to fishing as quickly as possible. By using the combination of rod movement, reeling, reel speed, and adjusting drag, you can dislodge the lure from the snag. But don't go doing it all at the same time and don't do it too hard. If you snap your line due to too much tension, you will lose your lure and everything. If you want to save time, you can simply cut the line and re-rig or swap to another rod. There you go. Once your lure is free of the snag, get back to fishing and working on your retrieve. Getting snagged can be a real pain. And even if you've successfully freed the lure, guess what? You can get snagged again. But this is why we risk fishing around snag-filled areas. Sure, there's a risk of losing equipment, 
but the payoff is getting bites of giant fish like this. Okay, you got this. Just like last time, let's bring this one home. It's going to take some more effort, though, as this fish is bigger, stronger, and even more aggressive. Keep your cool. You're getting close now. Remember, you can choose to grab the fish or wait for their stamina to... Yes. Boom shakalaka. Now that there is a lunker for sure. Great job. You will get awarded more points and experience based on the size of the fish you land. Well, that's all the time we have for fishing today. Let's jump back into the driving seat of this boat and head back to the boat dock. You don't have to worry about how fast you're traveling back now, but it's worth being aware that when you're competing under official tournament rules, you have to return to your initial starting point within a certain time to be officially weighed in and have your score counted. Failing to arrive back to this point at the assigned time will cause your final score to be deducted based on how late you arrive. Or even worse, if you arrive too late, you'll be disqualified and score nothing. So always keep in mind what time it is and the distance you need to travel when competing. Drive into the assigned area to finish up here. And there we have it, a successful fishing trip. I had my doubts at points today, but you pulled through and I think you got a future. I know there was a lot of information to cover today, some of which is gonna take time to perfect and master. Still, you should be proud of yourself as what you displayed today are the skills and techniques used by successful pro anglers. Well done, I'm proud of you and I can't wait to see you on the water next time.